Welcome back and take five to care and bet on a good time while helping veterans. Holden for Heroes event founder Jeremy Bull and program director of Veteran Support Services Vincent Morales are actually here to tell us about this very special event. But we got to go back in time a little bit. How did you two meet? It's actually a uh, really, really touching story. During the second Holden for Heroes tournament, um, I was out on the way to to meet um, the American Legion Post 19 representative Jeremy, and just kind of through conversation, we realized that we had actually served two tours in Iraq together, um, first in '04 and then later in '07. So, kind of all came together at that tournament. That's so nice. It's an opportunity where you can actually talk with people and be pe be with people who've experienced the same sorts of things. Yes, indeed. Um, how did the Holden for Heroes actually start? Um, Holding for Heroes started actually as my birthday party a couple years ago. Oh. Uh, just got together with a bunch of friends at my American Legion Post 19 and Gardner. And, uh, we just got together and played Texas Hold'em, had a good time, and we wanted to donate um, everything to a veteran cause, and, and we found the VCP, and that was how it kind of got started. Okay, talking about VCP, what is Holding for Heroes' actual mission? Uh, Holding for Heroes' actual mission is we want to help uh, the VCP. Uh, the American Legion is also a veterans organization, and we want to have, you know, kind of veterans helping veterans. Um, this Hold Em For Heroes thing has kind of really gotten big, and uh, we want to help the VCP end uh, veteran homelessness. Okay, and talking about tiny homes, right, you would have to almost just be totally mute of news going on in Kansas City if you haven't seen these. but. If you go to Hold'em for Heroes, you'll be able to tour the tiny homes, and what else can we expect? Yes, indeed. So at the actual uh, tournament, February 23rd, there will be a Bradley Fighting Vehicle on site, a uh, tour of tiny home, uh, all-you-can-eat taco bar, kind of different things that we have going on. It is a focused charity event, so all-inclusive. Um, there are a lot of different facets. You'll also be able to meet local heroes, uh, not just myself and Jeremy. The whole event will be packed with veterans there. Okay. So we're excited about that. And then if people at home are sitting there wondering, how can I help? You know, what are different ways we can get involved? Well, the, the easiest way to get involved would be to text veteran to uh, 27722. And then um, um, search our webpage, veteranscommunityproject.org, and as well as the KCTV5 webpage for further information on the actual event. Okay, well, that sounds like it's going to be such a great time. And Jeremy and Vincent, I actually want to thank you guys both for your service. Thank so, you for your support. You thank know, you. Again, we are very excited to be a part of this with Take 5 to Care. Holden for Heroes is Saturday, February 23rd at 3 in the evening or afternoon at the American Legion Post 153 in Olathe. For more information, go to kctv5.com and click Take 5 to Care.